Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back, and today we're going to be playing, whoa, well, what I thought was going to be the Fosh, but it ended up being the M48 Patton because it seems like the queue was taking forever, and I just, I guess it was a tank thing for matchmaking or something, but yeah, I just switched to the Patton, and um, I don't know, the Patton is such a weird tank in terms of play because when I think of a medium, I think of like an, a Russian medium, basically something fast, something mobile, something closer to a light than than a heavy tank. But when you get the Patton, um, especially with the more recent buffs, um, it has pretty good armor, especially hold down. And the gun is amazing. It's just as good. Well, not just as good, but almost as good as um, as the Russian mediums. Of course, it doesn't have the mobility, but it has immense hold down armor, gun depression. I mean, it's like a mix between a heavy and a medium, basically. Um, kind of towards a heavy tank with the mobility and the armor, in a sense. But then you have that um, medium tank gun and everything that you need to be successful in playing the patent as a medium. Because you're not gonna outrun any other medium um like let's say when you're brawling uh, mediums in the med side of the map basically um you're not gonna be outrunning them so you need to get yourself in a really good position to pretty much have them come to you and basically trade that damage for distance so when you are up close and personal with them not only do you have the armor and decent traverse for them not to get behind you but you also have more hp than them because you dealt um damage as they were getting to you so yeah you don't want to go um brawling or anything although this tank does have dpm uh other medium tanks just have better dps so especially if grouped up um you're probably gonna get deleted before they do so um just watch out with that and yeah as you see my ipods not my ipods my airpods died there so yeah, I mean, I recommend you. I don't know why you stuck through the queues, but I'm going to write in the comments to just skip to the timestamp where I start playing the games because that's what really matters. Um, again, as I said, I've been enjoying Blitz again and um, starting to record some gameplay again. So, yeah. Patton, man. There's two camos. I don't know. Write in the comments um, which camo you like more, the Beast or the Pitbull. For me, it's the Pitbull. But I mean, everyone has their own taste in terms of the legendary camo for the tank. But yeah, here we are in uh, Middleburg. Um, I recently changed my uh, IGN today, so uh, I think any future videos after this, you won't see the same name. I think I do have a TVP video as well I gotta post, so I think after that one, we should be seeing a different name. Um, and as I said um, to someone before, I'm just gonna go with the flow here. So yeah, I just want to pre-aim that top bush in case someone spots me because um, it's pretty much what my speed allows me to. I can't really spot anything on the right side early like I would in a faster medium or in a light tank that's something more mobile. But yeah, I get to this position. I mean, I think this tank is way too thick and freaking tall for this, but I know they downgraded the size of the Patton, which is really good. That's uh, another rebalance that I really enjoyed on this tank. Um, there, I ju that was just a really bad shot. Um, I thought I had enough pen without heat to pen the cheek, but yeah, I couldn't switch in time because he made a poke that was a little bit too quick for me um, as I'm feeling out the games and starting the gameplay with the Patton. Uh, it looks like their team is split, um, but I will push once I get some support on the left, which I am getting uh, with the Conway on my left. So I'm going to go for this Leo first put a couple shots in and kill him so then I can work on this one to one b because he's isolated and yeah I'm gonna pick up the kill here um, I noticed that they didn't have anyone covering as I cross so it just gives me freedom to just push up on the right to pinch this uh, one to one b between me and the Conway or whoever's gonna come up and uh, push this guy with me so this tank does get bounces um, if you just wiggle left and right people will track you so uh, without damage um, not tanks with higher pen but mediums might I add so yeah, we get the pick up there, and I'm going to go down for the Yag, um, because I see he's far away from the fight. I know the E100's right there in B, but I could probably sneak in another shot. 
um, before he does pull back into cover. So, I mean, everyone's pretty much spotted, so, I mean, there's no fear to go in here. Um, I just don't want that E100 to turn really fast or quick, but here I just made the decision. I might as well trade just to pick up this kill because I'm going to have my team with me uh, for some help with the E100. But before that, um, I will put a shot in the super conk and I'm going to back off and see if anyone else can pick him up or if I have to just keep backing off here and then pick him up after. But yeah, the game was pretty quick, pretty fast. And... We're just going to finish it off with a bang, just some simple shots and then pull in the 100 a bit after. Here I was going to leave him and go to the I-7, but then I realized I'm not going to get to him in time, so I turn just in case I get the kill and get the kill and that's a game. Pretty much 7L, terrible battle. Um, something light to start the little gameplay with. I felt like in this video, you're going to see a lot of queue times, so I would just skip through them. like just scroll through the YouTube uh, player and just skip until you see like a battle screen to be honest it's not worth um, seeing these queue times I felt like I feel like uh, I don't know I, like we just need to grow the game more than it is now especially for the North American server because the queue times um, even with supremacy and encounter are just insane so um, hopefully that gets fixed in the future with more players playing but I don't know man, a mobile game when people have access to next gen consoles and PCs and all that stuff um, isn't really going to be as popular, I'll be quite honest with you, so I don't see it uh, pretty much getting fixed in the future or in the near future. I, f I feel like if anything, it's the numbers will decrease um, more than anything, yeah. Man, every time I like record and I wait like for queue times, I feel like I'm in an elevator. It's kind of awkward in a sense. Just kind of talk to like fill in the blanks, I suppose. But again, uh, sorry for the audio last time and probably for the audio moving forward because I'm like, there's just like really nice place, like park at my house um, since I recently moved and I just like chilling there to be honest. Like I feel like I mean, I don't know, plus the weather's nice, so it just adds on top of that. But yeah, I mean, it's just nice to be outside and I recommend just going outside daily and uh, not just for like, you know, school or work, but like, you know, just time for yourself and enjoying the weather because I feel like the US soon is just gonna like be completely opposite in terms of like the weather you're used to because we're getting a lot of snow and in places that we've never received a lot of hail and all that stuff and a lot of weird storms so definitely weird okay so finally we are in um damn what what map is this oh yeah it's um rockfield yeah we're in rockfield and yeah we're gonna feel this game out a bit um again i'm not fast so i don't like going to like cheeky positions where i can easily run away like in the light tank but i'll go in your standard medium positions and spot things out because the patent does not have bad view range at all so oh and on top of that um i'm sorry if i don't run pb uh not pbr if i don't run high graphics to show you the pbr tanks but this tank is one of the pbr models that wargaming uh designed so I'm gonna put in a shot in the T22. I get a really nice bounce from the 1A3 um, on my track, but then it's like another TD, so it looks like we got two campers, which is understandable, they're TDs. And I put that snapshot on the WZ um, just to put it out there, and it actually hit, so that was pretty wicked. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna be annoying in this position, uh, but being very careful on my left and try to angle away from the TDs. But I want to keep everything spotted, and I do want to have some control over the game. That's why I'm not going for the cap, and someone else stepped in after, as you see right now. So I put another shot in the WZ, and we're already at, you know, like, four shots of damage, so it's a nice little start to the game. And, um, well, I think five shots. Four or five, either or, but it's a nice little start to the game. There's a lot of HP left. There's a lot of tanks to kill. We're actually down one tank. Um... And it's going to be, I think, one of those games where you're just going to have to play slower than the enemy team. And 
wait for them to make the mistakes first. I put a heat shell right on the left upper plate of the WZ, but um, I don't know if it's the dispersion or anything, but I didn't check the numbers for that before uh, playing the tank. And yeah, I just hit the left track on the left side of my reticle. Again, I'm trying to keep everything spotted. Um, I put a blind shot thinking the 183 was going to peak up, but he wasn't, so that was a bit unfortunate. And I do want to keep everything spotted and pre-aimed, just in case they do rush my FE on the left. So I put a shot in the 183, and it seems like the WZ is just trying to pay me back for the shots I put in him earlier, which is pretty understandable. I'm going to put another shot here, but in the grill. And yeah, I'm going to try to trade as much. Um, here, I go for a snapshot here, but it doesn't quite hit. It was all RNG to be honest. I think it was it was a well-aimed shot. It was just I didn't give it time to settle in. So um, WZ, I'm waiting for him to poke, but he's not, unfortunately. Um, but I am gonna get a shot in this IS7 as he peeks up and pull back before the 183 or something else puts a good snapshot in me on the left. I do want to put a shot in this um, 50M. I didn't think the WZ had a shot in me, but he did, unfortunately. But now, um, I know that the IS-7 moved up on the left and eventually killed my MV, so I want to get away from there. And I'm going to do it the safe way, uh, where my 183 is, so I won't get caught out rotating, so... Yeah, I'm going to rotate outside of that. I get the this assistance damage because I'm just spotting everything with this great um, view range. And I'm going to go for this little cheeky spot on the left, but then I see the girl and it completely ruins my momentum. So I put a nice little snapshot there. Um, I'll trade him because he had to snapshot me. And then uh, put another track shot. And unfortunately, I don't get the mega high roll. Although I did high roll, I didn't finish him off. I left him on 2 HP, but I have all the confidence in the world now to push on the left with the 183. And uh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Um, hopefully this guy uh, doesn't get finished, but the girl ends up picking him off. So I'll just finish the i7. And I don't think I'm going to have the uh, time to get to the grill um, before he reloads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fake rotating out and just hit him with a nice light special. Just hit him with a nice little snapshot and get away from there. And, you know, we were, we've been doing really good for the HP that we've had this entire game. We bled out a lot throughout the start and the middle of the game just because, you know, we were at that same position and whatnot. But... Uh, we took care of them pretty good at the end of the game, so I'm going to help out my LT on the right, uh, pick up the kill, and now it's a 2v1, so it's a good job by our team to finish out the game strong, and I'm going to finish out the 183, and I pick up four kills with some good uh, spotting damage, assistance damage, and overall just um, just a great game, like a great standard game that you could you could have. So yeah, another top damage game, and hopefully this time the Q is going to be a bit better, but I don't know if I'm going to jinx myself. Okay, yeah, you see? Perfect, perfect. Um, Oasis Palms, I mean, I might run it left if my team goes, so we'll see. I am hitting the help button because that sometimes does help, like... But in this case, it didn't, so I'm not even going to waste my time and get to an overextended position on the left and have their team just full-on push me if they all go left. I played enough blitz to pretty much understand the logic behind North American teammates. Um, so yeah, I'm actually uh, going to do like a quick little spot there in that bush and then just not going to stay there for long. I'm just going to go push with my guys on the right. And they have a decently heavy TD lineup, so maybe we can catch them off guard and... Fortunately, we did. I tried to put a snapshot there as I crashed into the building. Uh, not the best way to start the game, but as you're going to see, I'm going to get really good farm here. I put a shot in the K91. Um, I'm going to take advantage of this IS-7, um, dying slowly, and just put some shots where I can get them. But I see the K91 is actually going to take his attention off, uh, rightfully so, to me. But then he gets distracted again, and that's where I just start farming the K91. And I'm going to keep just putting in shots as, you know, my teammates are busy brawling and the eyes are off me. Um, this is where I just put my DPM to use. Um, and this is where DPM is not underrated. Um, this is where the numbers do come into play. So I'm going to put another shot and finish it off. Aim it well here and just get back to the farming. 
I'm trying to maneuver my tank to the best ability to not waste any DPM here. Um, just to shoot as soon as I reload. But as I see, the I-7 is going to die soon. So I don't really have much time to stay here. Because then I'll be the next focus. So I'm going to run out. Um, not too far away because I am getting support. Um, just enough where I can get behind the tanks that are going to get shot next. So I pre the Vickers here. I'm seeing where he's going to go. And... To my judgment, he does pull off to the left, and I get a good shot, and since I am full HP, I do want to give my teammates um, some sort of HP to rely on, and not just be two guys in the back of me farming, but all three of us maybe potentially farming together. Vickers bounces me hold down. Um, this is where the tank is the best, so as long as you're showing them the turret, you're going to get those perma bounces. But enough rambling, I'm just literally farming off my reload, and... There's not a lot of um, games that you do have the opportunity to just keep uh, putting your damage in as soon as you reload. So I was enjoying it, constantly moving, constantly rotating to better positions, being aware of um, if I'm going to be the next focus fire and just running out of there. And yeah, just being aware of my surroundings. So put another shot in the Vickers and I wanted to round them because I thought I would have had the round before they reloaded. But the Victor's aim was so bad that he tracked me, so unfortunately I did not get the three kills and I only stuck at two. But it was a good game, 5.5k uh, and the ace tanker, which is the most important, the ace tanker is pretty much what I wanted playing this tank, so. I really don't know if I got any assistance because I think the heavies got there before I went on the right and I didn't just check right now, so. I've been um, experimenting, uh, just like with different tanks. I played the LT recently, um, and it's just as good as it was even pre-nerf. Like the mobility is just really good for, like if you're a player that has really good reaction time and, um, and you like to move a lot, man, that tank is just heavenly. So I might make a video on that in the future, but um, for now we're in Dynasty Pro and um, yeah, not a lot to say about this map. Usually teams either go C side or A side, um, just all together, never split. So what I am gonna do, um, since I'm, I know I'm not as mobile as a light tank or like a Russian medium, I am quick enough to get out of there as soon as I spot the side, cause we have so much hard cover to pull away from. So I'm just gonna spot up here really quick. And if they have anyone, I'm just gonna run out. But given the off chance that they don't, I can just stay here and flank. But I think two tanks spotted here is enough for me to run. I don't think I'm going to win this with the E50, um, especially with their Kron, such a strong heavy tank. And a really good place to play hold down. So I am going to run into town. I don't know if I took the best route, to be quite honest with you, as you're going to see here, because I got nuked by this E3. Um, but I think that's going to be the least of my worries now because I can get good position, maybe kill off this AMX, but no, I didn't get the kill, but now we just have town side, so hopefully the tanks on the left will kind of leave us alone a bit, and we'll just have to focus on tanks coming to B after C or something, so I see the E4 is very fixated on me, um, and that's pretty much going to cost him his life, so yeah, unfortunate. Um, but just like that, we're up 2-0, and there's not really much damage um, to really go out and get for me. Um, the way I'm playing right now is so passive. Um, but I don't really have my full HP to bleed some tanks, so... Yeah, I'm just going to keep uh, pushing the tempo. I know the tanks are pretty much moving away from the right, so I'm just going to take advantage of the left side and get some good shots on the E3 that's not paying attention. Here I decide whether I want to trade with the IS-4 to get some shots off, but you know, then I do and I put some shots in the E3 and stuff, so I'm going to go on the IS-4 now and um, yeah, get some really good shots off, isolated. I'm going to trade here, but I mean, I'm not in, in, in focus or damage away from, uh, excuse me, not I'm not in focus or, or in grave danger for tanks that are shooting me basically so put myself in a really good hold on spot and 
Again, using my hold on army at a one shot and relying on it to get a really good shot in the IS-4 and then hit another good shot in the TVP. I want to see if I can get a full damage shot here in the Kron, um, but that doesn't happen. Um, I really wanted to aim it in and I didn't think anyone would have the shot on the right, but I'll take the kill though, as, as long as I'm not killless, I suppose. So with that, I think I do just a little over 3k damage and uh, nothing too crazy. Um, just a standard game. I think I could have took a better route at the start of the game, but um, it, w it wasn't the greatest game to really do damage. So you're going to have games like that. Um, but just try to do as much damage as you can with what, with what you have. Um, our team got two kills off the bat early. Um, and there wasn't too much HP to get off the table because I couldn't play too aggressive with the shots I already took at the start of the game from that E3 and whatnot. But um, continuing the uh, talk about um, other tanks I've been playing, I did play the TVP, um, as I said earlier. And I do got to record some um, audio for that. Uh, and then I'll post that um, after this one because yeah, TVP, speaking of mediums, that tank is just unlike any other medium. Other mediums are constantly moving, putting out that DPM, even with auto reloaders and auto loaders. Um, the reload isn't as crazy or significant um, compared to the TVP. So uh, you'll see how I play it. Um, I'm a fan of it, but not a, a mega fan or super fan. So we're going to check it out um, later when I do post a video about it. But here in um, Vineyards, um, I see that our team is going heavy side on the left. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some shots in early if I can on anything crossing to the left or anything getting out of B is my idea. But I don't really think that's going to happen um, as I'm spotting here. I get there a little bit later than intended. The 50B uses a really good route and... Um, yeah, I don't have anything right now, but since my team is on the left side of me, I'm pretty much safe in case I do get yellowed. Put a nice shot into the Leo, and I want to keep that crossing spotted. I put a nice shot into the bat chat. Um, man, I feel like... And then another equally just as impressive shot in the 50B. Like, I don't know. I think RNG is just paying me back for all the trolling that it's, it, it's done to me over the... I don't know how many battles I played. But yeah, I do want to keep this T30 spotted. I know he's not looking at me, so I'm going to put a shot in. I'm going to peek really quick. And I'm pretty much safe from the right side because I am aware and I do want to put another shot in the T30. I track and put him in a place, almost at 2k assistance damage. And here, I'm going to put another shot. And yeah, maybe I can pick up the kill here, so we'll see. Then I put the nice kill shot in, and now we're tied 1-1. Um, I don't think the game's going to slip out of our hands because we do have the double cap, and I do have the assistance damage and my own damage. Here, it was a really good well-placed shot, and the shell went exactly where I aimed it, but I think the dead tank of the 1A3 pretty much um, just blocked that shot, I think, with the uh, hitbox or something. I'm going to land a really nice shot here in the Leo as he's running to spawn. And yeah, I'm just going to keep scoping everything out. Um, as I'm watching this over, I realized I did make a mistake here. Um, just because we did have double caps, I'm playing way too patient um, because I do have a lot of HP. And the thing is, I don't want to let the game slip out of my fingers because if I just YOLO out and die and then... You know they get a cap and and whatnot i think i feel like the game could be lost so that was just my thinking behind it but looking back again i mean i could have just went down traded with this 60 tp got at least three shots off but i'm only going to pull this one off because again i don't know why i was playing so patient i didn't I, I i don't think i was even looking at the caps or anything they were almost at a thousand and i was just trying to play hold down with them when i probably could have got like two three shots off so yes i did the dreaded under 3k um but let's see if i can make it up next game i mean i did do highest damage on the team and you know our team was pretty decent um pretty good so nothing to be ashamed about
and hopefully we get another good queue time. And just as I say that, we're in a game. And for the future or anything, I do want to keep my videos um, for like gameplay at least maybe like 30 minutes, maybe most 40 minutes, but nothing crazy long because who's going to sit there for more than like 40 minutes or 30 minutes, you know? Um, so I don't want to play too many battles because people aren't going to watch the entirety of the video then. Um, and yeah, Castilla, I mean, what more can I say about it? It's a pretty good map if you're a hold down med or a hold down heavy and you want to play the A side. But other than that, I mean, <laughs> your options are limited. So I'm going to put a good shot in the Rio here. Um, and I'm going to pressure him and see if I can spot anything else. And then I spot the two heavies coming here. So it seems that their entire team is coming on the A side. And what I have to do is basically scope everything out, be super aware of my surroundings. And I don't know how that shot, flat gray corner side just bounces. But again, I'll just go with the flow and chill everything out. 62A kept poking and he died, unfortunately. Um, so that sucks being a tank down early, but um, I'll see if I keep this Leo down because at the moment we're trading and I don't really like trading too much at the start of the game if I don't have a mobile tank. So 183 just sees me and I guess he thinks he has the freedom to push me or to take this control of the Castilla Hill. Um, so what I'm going to do is basically try to pressure him out there, see if maybe my TDs or my chieftain on the right can put in some good shots so I'm gonna try to track him here but the burrow was in the way so I didn't really get the timing off on that good and I'm gonna pull back see if someone can finish him and I suspected one of my TDs did bail me out so I'm gonna put a shot on the Leo here and I'm gonna move around to this left side and see if I can pick him up perhaps I could have loaded an HE here um, but I just wanted the assurance of just a shot because he was going to be a two shot either way here um, I do have a medium with me on the left so we do have some sort of cross on these heavies but as you see he's going to go down rather quick soon um, and I don't have too much time so I have to get this kill and pull back because if I keep going forward I'll be exposed to the tanks that are bottom so I want to see what I can do here, put a track shell, slow down the momentum of these heavies, put them in a little bit of a traffic jam, and just face my turret towards them so they don't have a good shot, and pull all the way back and see what I can do, see if I can work my magic. So we both try to pull off difficult shots and we both bounce, and you're going to see where the patent shines, man, where people don't have really good um, areas to pen you clearly and they do have to take their time to aim in. Um, and I'm just gonna completely outclass the C100 here with a couple of track shots. Um, and I'm just trying to distract them enough so maybe my team can get some farm, but I don't know how my TDs are dying, but then I realize that they're pushing up. And I feel like I can win this game, I just cannot get shot by this TP um, because I'm gonna need a lot of run HP. So hopefully my 1A3 can bail me out now. And he does exactly that, but unfortunately I run into the 62A and I'm confident in winning the 1v1 until he pretty much had adrenaline and I didn't, so I don't think I was going to win that fight. Um, even if I pulled a bounce like this, I could have probably won it, but the T22 was just right behind him and he got unspotted last second, so I did everything I could that game to try and keep Castillo control which I did towards the very end, but we just didn't have the tanks. I didn't have the HP. And that was it, man. I feel like if our team was patient and our other TD stayed back to farm, I feel like we could have easily won the game, even being outnumbered. Because I was working that Castillo really good and um, all they had to do was just watch over me and just shoot. Nothing difficult, but... After this game, I was like, yeah, I don't want to continue playing because that's it. I mean, I don't want to be a loser, so. Yeah, another 5k game. I didn't get the ace, obviously, because we didn't get the win, and I don't think I got much kills, but 
Yeah, that's a pattern for you. Really good, solid, medium, with good armor, no mobility. But if you want something reliable, this is a tank for you.